Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Uh, welcome back. Today I have a non-wax related uh, video for you and I'm going to give you my two cents on the new Real Techniques uh, makeup brushes. Um, they have been out in the UK for several months now, probably three or four months, maybe longer, but that's, I, that's when I spotted them on the Pixie Woo. Uh, I follow Pixie Woo on YouTube. And so finally they're over here in the US. Um, I found mine on uh, the Real Techniques website. I looked on Ulta, I looked on Sephora, they weren't on either one of those sites. This as of last week when I got mine. Um, they may be, may be there now, um, or they may be other places. But anyway, I got mine from the Real Techniques website. There was at least five, there might have been six, I can't remember, but I know there was five because there was another one that I should have gotten and I didn't, but I, so I will go back to order that. Um, all of these brushes that I have here, and I think the Kabuki brush that I did not get are $21, and the eye brush is $12 or $13. So they are a little more expensive than the regular uh, line, um, but really worth it. They're super, super soft. They are, um, it says, with faux blue technology engineered to layer powders evenly for a soft, flawless finish. And um, it says our uh, faux blue technology uses synthetic bristles engineered to perform as well as blue squirrel hair. So that's the deal there. They're trying to emulate Blue Squirrel. Anyway, I've used three out of the four of these. I'm really, really liking them. They are super, super soft. Um, I put them back in the cases so I could, um, rem you know, remember, remind myself the uh, name of the, the brush. And it's, it's also written on it. Um, anyway, so they're blue. They have super soft blue uh, bristles, really soft. They're pretty. Um, they kind of graduate down from dark blue to lighter blue kind of down to a point, they're kind of, um, they're not rounded, they have flat, you know, faceted sides, um, and they're really, really nice, and I'm really liking them. So this one is B04, the Soft Shadow Brush. Uh, for me, in my old crepey eyelids, um, you know, I can't really do the whole uh, crease thing anymore because the it just gets lost, because I have um, hooded eyes, plus really crepey, they're a mess. And do you know why they're a mess? I'll tell you why. Because when I was 16 years old, I would make fun of my mother and her crepey eyelids. So this is what you get when you make fun of your mother and her crepey eyelids, God gives you crepey eyelids, so don't do it. Anyway, so anyway, what I'll, I'll, pretty much all I do now is take like a taupey shadow, like a mushroom or a taupe, something like that, or like gray, and put it all over the lid or then and then sometimes I'll just kind of put take a little bit more and dark deepen it up right there um, that's about all I do and then you know eyeliner top and bottom whatever I, like I'm no makeup guru for sure but that's that's what I do so anyway that's what I use this for and I really really like it um, this one the next one is the B02 soft finishing brush and that is this size um, super, super soft. What I use this for is for highlighter right there. Um, I, you can probably use it for blush, I guess, too. Um, or if you use um, concealer, I don't because I don't have too many wrinkles. I have a little bag there, as you can see. I have a few little wrinkles. She's holding up pretty good for 53. But, um, you know, when I do use concealer, consul uh, concealer which like I said I've done it a couple times and I don't it just kind of really gets really cakey and it cakes in those fine lines there so I don't but if you did you could probably set your concealer with that and you know brush you, you know do whatever you want with a brush you know whatever whatever you find it works for go for it uh, this is B03 the soft complexion brush um, this I think would be good for powdered foundation um, because it's um, it is so soft it, because it's dense enough that it will pick up enough product and, you know, and give you a good coverage with it. You probably use it for blush too if you want. I don't know. And then the last one is the B01, the soft powder brush. This one is really big and fluffy. It is super nice. This one I use for like halfway through the day if I get all shiny, I'll take it and just kind of put some uh, setting powder around like that just very softly. You probably could use it for um, 
powder foundation if you want to just like a light coverage because it's so fluffy it's not going to you know pick up too much like this other one is more dense it's going to pick up more product than this one um and so you could do that you could probably what i did today also i just picked up a little bit of bronzer and just kind of bronzed around like that as well um Again, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just kind of do my own thing. And then, like I said, there was one more. The, the, I'm trying to think. There might have been two more, but the only other one that I should have bought that I wanted to was a kabuki brush. And it was, But it was a big kabuki brush, which would be good for powder foundation as well. And I think I will go back and order that. Um, yeah, so that's it. Like I said, um, I got mine on the Real Techniques website. And so that's my two cents worth. I hope it was helpful and I uh, hope you can find them in your area or maybe they'll be out at, at Ulta soon. Hopefully they will. I'm sure they will at some point. Anyway, I really like them and that's my review. So I will talk to you later. Bye.